it's Angela from Angela's Paper Arts. I'd wanted to talk to you today about the lovely labels Pick a Punch. Um, it's a big name, <laughs> for, but it is a terrific punch. As you'll see, there's sort of two pictures on the top of the punch, and that reflects the fact there are three different labels you can get from this style and three different labels from this style. Uh, it's closed at the moment and to open any of these stamping up punches all you need to do is push the lever up and it will spring open ready for use. So I wanted to show you what you can get out of this punch. Um, if you're interested it's actually on, it's part of our new annual catalogue. It's on page, I get to the page, there we are. Page 169 of the catalogue, Lovely Labels Pick a Punch. It's 40 Australian dollars and you can combine it and get it 10% off with the coordinating stamp set, the Lovely You stamp set, so if that's of interest. But when I saw that punch, I thought, oh, I have to have that. It's so versatile because I get six different ways to la create labels out of just the one punch. So for example, on this side here with the square top, I can get the one inch. So this is in inches, but you know, two and a half centimeters if we, if we wanna go metric. So there's the one inch label, the three quarter inch label and the half inch label. But of course you can layer them up to get different effects as well. If you just want a little tag, you can do that too. Just punch one end and you can get just a, a little tag uh, as a result. The other side, which is this picture here, um, gives you this style, which is more a scalloped edge rather than the, the flat edge. And again, we've got the one inch label in wide, three quarters of an inch and half an inch. And again, you can layer that into all different sorts of combinations. You could even mix and match if you wanted to. I just wanted to give you a little idea of the types of um, punch shapes that you can get out of this punch. So let me just show you how easy it is to get a, a little label. So if you just start with a, a standard piece of um, stamping up cardstock, you just slide it, you might see the, the grooves here are layered and that's because there's the half inch, three quarter inch and one inch sections. So you just slide it along the groove that's appropriate for your style of, of your size of paper. If you wanted to see what's happening on the back, you can see how I've butt the cardstock right to the very end of the punch. Can't go any further and it's simply a case of punching down and there's the end that's been punched and that's what's left over just that tiny little piece now it could be that you are stamp you've got a stamp sentiment on this and you don't want such a long piece of cardstock so to find where you want that to go once it's all stamped just use that bit you punched off here as a guide for where you will want to cut your paper down. Say here, if I just grab my scissors, cut that off. So this way you can cut it to the right length for your sentiment. I then just put it back into the punch, make sure it's at the end, punch down and there we go. So you've got both ends punched. Easy as that. But I wanted to show you, and, and here's a card that um, we did for my June class. That's an example of using that same punch shape. I've used it on the Mary Merlot mat, sentiment mat, and then on the actual sentiment as well. So that's just an example of how I've used it on a card. The question you may have is, well, how do we, it's fine when you've got a nice long piece of paper, but what do you do when you've got just a little 
um, label that you want to put on your card or scrapbooking page, whatever that you like. Um, because to try and get that in the stamp, uh, into the punch, it's really difficult because it's, it's not long enough. It doesn't have a long enough handle to sort of put in like this one does. It's very small. So what I have done, and those of you that have attended my classes, you know I'm a big fan of the post-it notes to create a little handle uh, of a shape that you want to punch that, that may be small. Um, so, for example, if I just take this old post-it note, uh, what we would usually do is attach that there and put it into the punch and punch away so it gives it a little handle using the repositionable sticky on the post-it note but with this punch here that's a little bit more difficult uh, and so what I've done is created three strips as my handles and I've used the the Tombow and you can see mine's well used I've just used it in a class today um, the Tombow multi liquid glue this is a dual purpose glue if you adhere it, um, put it onto cardstock and put another piece of cardstock on straight away, it becomes a permanent bond. However, if you just put it on an item and let it dry, maybe, you know, several hours, and I often just leave mine to dry overnight, it becomes a repositionable glue. And so what I have done to create my little, instead of using my post-it notes, I've created three little handles here in a cardstock and I put them onto a piece of acetate and I put the Tombow on the end of the handle and so for example if I want to punch that end in fact let's use the right size because I think that's a one inch yes it is so all I need to do is put my handle just put that on there it's a nice little label and if I want to Put it in here, make sure it goes to the end. It gives me some stability to punch. And there we go. And that just peels off. So it doesn't do any damage to the back of your cardstock. So I've made that type of handle for each of the sizes so that when I want to make a nice little small label like this one, I can easily do so by using my repositionable little handles. So I hope that tip helps um, helps you. It is a fantastic punch. As I said, you get six different styles of labels, as per my little example here. Um, six of them by themselves, and then you've got all the different possibilities to layer them up. So if you have any questions, please put them in the comments and I'll respond to them as soon as possible. Other than that, thank you for watching. Bye.